wasn't just a one-time thing. I actually make pancake batter like every single freaking day. You saw it in my last video. I didn't just do it in my last video. I actually do it like a lot of days. Actually, I grated my finger yesterday. I took a chunk of skin out of my finger. So this is why I'm wearing this very attractive plast. <laughs> This is completely the wrong utensil. I'm the only one in the household who wakes up at 5am, so I think I have to be a bit quieter, you know. I actually can't believe it's Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. Doesn't it feel like the whole week has been like 10 weeks long already? Why isn't it the weekend? Cheers. Today's agenda. I have to go to work. At like 3 p.m. I'm going to a tour of a hotel because we like book hotels for people like in my work and they like want us to come and see it so that we recommend their hotel. Anyway, I'm always down for some they're gonna get us some free food and stuff and I'm always down for that. I'm not gonna turn down free food. That's for damn sure. I had a very weird dream last night, okay? Let me say it involved a sausage and mayonnaise. And this sausage was no ordinary sausage. This sausage was like this long green and it had like tentacles coming out of the side and I was cooking it I put it in foil plopped the sausage in and then I put mayonnaise all over it and then I wrapped it up and like cooked it <laughs> now this is some weird sausage it was like the tentacles were kind of like green beans are coming out the end <laughs> I actually am interested to know what it would taste like because the clocks sprung forward at the weekend and that's supposed to mean that it's brighter in the morning no oh wait no it's not that's why i'm so stupid i was like going around thinking why is this so a thing dark outside still at seven o'clock and like before the clock sprung forward it was bright at this time of the day but i realized it's the evenings that stay brighter i'm so stupid Stupid. I don't normally put mascara on for work. However, because I'm going to this hotel, I thought I better not look like I just rolled out of bed. Not that mascara is really going to save my life, but it can try. One of the reasons I don't wear mascara during the day is because by the end of the day, like, I don't know if it's like the mascara starts leaking or like my eyes get sweaty and like it mingles with the mascara juices and then it gets in my eyes and then it stings. So bad! And then I literally all I can think about is getting home and like wiping my whole eyeballs. Yeah, so I don't generally wear it, but we're gonna risk it for a chocolate biscuit. I need two. The lights just like changing all over the place. To pack my snacks and like my breakfast. My second breakfast because I already have breakfast. But I'm gonna pack my snacks. I already made my lunch. I've got this soup. I got this soup from Costco. It came in two humongous bags. It's a Thai coconut chicken soup. Delicious. Makes my breath smell. So I had to get mint. Mint. M-I-N-T-S. To have in the afternoon because I'm like, I can't be at work with my breath smelling so bad. Anyway, it doesn't really help. But I, I like, if I'm about to speak to someone, I like shove in a mint. It's like popping mints all afternoon when I have the soup. Anyway, it's the end of the soup. I do recommend the soup, but just maybe have it when there's not many people around. That is my recommendation to you. Excuse me. 
Ah. Oh no! Oh, I've just had enough of today. Stupid. Not happy. how sunny it is i have been close to tears the whole freaking day and you know what i feel like the universe is coming out to tell me everything is going to be okay because as soon as i left work the sun was shining i had a bit of a stressful journey because this brand was giving me some items i know who am i i don't even know anymore they said go into the store and you can pick up the items i'm like cool and i like sent my selections over and i get there I'm expecting to pick up a package, but no, I, I'm supposed to like select it from the store. And then the store was like confused, like who the hell are you? Um, I was confused because I was like, I don't know what's going on. And then they were like, okay, pick out the items and then half the items I wanted weren't there. So then I had to make decisions, decisions on the spot. You know what? I'm not good at making decisions on the spot. I need to think about things for 24 business hours. And then, and then I can make a decision. Anyway, I was like wandering around like an idiot. Also, they were like, are you the influencer? And I was like, oh my God, no, I don't know. And then I looked like ridiculous. I was just from work. I was in my raincoat. Like my hair was like... Pfft. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the item. Lovely pajamas, okay? So we've got pajama short sleeve and pajama shorts. I don't know if I got them too big, you know, or you can tighten them. So I tend to get my pajamas from La Vie en Rose. They're my favorite pajama shop in the entire freaking world. So when they said they were gonna give me some items, I literally almost die. I normally get a small from there, but I don't know. I don't like to be claustrophobic when I'm sleeping. I wanna have room, I wanna like, the same print but in a dress format how how cute is this and it's got little cute back to it i'm not showing you this very well but ew, ew, ew. and then the third item are these pajamas pajama trousers pajama t-shirt and do you know what there's a def definite blue theme going on here and then the last item is another dress Ta-da! I'm literally gonna be snazzy and I'm literally gonna be blue. I'll be wearing so much blue, I'm gonna turn into this blue bird right here. Can you see it? That will be me. I'm now gonna finish for the day. I've just had enough of today. Apparently I've been washing my hair wrong my entire freaking life. I watched this video and they were like, this is how you wash your hair. And I was like, that's not how I wash my hair. And I was like, you know that feeling when you go to the hairdressers and you have squeaky clean hair? It's like the cleanest it's ever been. I can never achieve that at home. You know, and I was like, I'm gonna watch a video because I'm probably washing my hair incorrectly. So we're gonna try it and see what happens. I do feel a bit weird because I'm like in the swimming pool, in my shower, washing my hair. Like I feel like this is a kind of intimate act that I'm doing right now, but I don't know why it feels weird, but it does anyway. Apparently, the first step you have to completely soak your hair, like absolutely dripping wet. Which I don't think I ever do actually. Apparently, every single strand of hair needs to be sopping wet. like risking my life by having this door open and um, I might get water everywhere. Hey ho. Honestly it's like seven o'clock in the morning I'm doing this before work. Then <laughs> I go to work and be like hey guys you know what I did this morning? This morning I squashed it was just in Okay I actually don't know if this work. Normally I would have like put the shampoo in by now. Shampoo I got this new shampoo and it's taking every inch of me not to just try it instead of this tiny bit that's left in here. But I'm gonna be good because do you know in life when I try a new shampoo, I have like tiny bits of shampoo that I never finish. And we're not gonna be like that. 
this is my current shampoo. Okay, then I'm going to lather it up in my hand. Oh, oh my gosh, I actually just messed it up right away. You're not supposed to go like this when you wash your hair. You're supposed to wash it like, like this. Except I don't have enough shampoo on my hand yet. Okay, and then the next day, <laughs> that is so weird that the shower's on this whole time. Maybe I should turn it off, then I might bleed to death. Okay, the next thing you need to do, next you need to like let the shampoo sit in your hair. Actually, it's freezing and I can't have it all. But you're supposed to let it sit. So what I do is I put it in and I wash it straight out. But you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to like let it sit for a bit. I'll put this back on. Ah. Oh, it's so steamy. Has this been steamy the whole time? That was honestly like a bit of a fail because I felt like it was steamy the whole time. I haven't looked at the footage back, but like, what was the point of all of that? Anyway, I've washed my hair, how I said I washed it again, I did another wash, and then um, I could do conditioner out of here. So what you're supposed to do when you're like scrunching out your hair or like getting the water out, you're supposed to go like this. You're not supposed to like go up and then squeeze it, which is what I always used to do. And apparently that's really damaging to your hair. But if you do that, stop doing it! I'm sorry for that failed segment. I actually can't believe it's... Wait, what's the date? Is it Wednesday or Thursday? No, it's Thursday. Oh, thank goodness for that. I was going to say, I actually cannot believe it's only Wednesday, but it's not even Wednesday! It's not even Wednesday! On Tuesday I thought it was Wednesday. On Thursday I thought it was Wednesday. On Wednesday I was convinced it was Thursday. So, like, my days are just messed up now i got this new leave-in hair serum because my my hairdresser told me that my hair is like getting really dry and damaged so it needs to like have a leave-in conditioner excuse me excuse me excuse me this is actually difficult to use with my hands a bit slippy and it's quite stiff I don't know if I sprayed any of that actually on my hair. I feel like it mostly went everywhere else. But my hair. The thing is, like, not actually, like, going with your hair. I actually feel like my hair is a lot wetter, which I don't particularly like because I leave my hair to dry naturally. And it's, like, sopping wet right now. Actually, this is really good for detangling because that literally went through like a dream. And then the other thing I got, honestly, I spent way too much on shampoo. But the thing is, you only get one set of hair. And I love my hair. So I'm going to treat it with all the, the, the love it should. I don't, like, buy any other fancy products but hair stuff. Now, this is, like, a serum for scalp and hair prone to falling out. My hair falls out, like, all the freaking time. And it's supposed to help. <sighs> I don't know how you're supposed to use it. Oh god, why is the writing so tiny? How am I supposed to read that? Maybe I'm not supposed to read it. Oh, here we go. It's like halfway down is the British. Mm. Washed, towel dried hair on scalp, massage in. Oh, that doesn't help. Whoa, there's so much in there. I better not knock that over. I need the glasses on. Ah, it's dripping. Whoa, this pipette is actually really easy to apply. It would. I better do this bit here where it doesn't grow any hair. Maybe it will make some hair grow. But not too much on it because this is actually really effing expensive. Oh my gosh, it feels a bit tingy. It's supposed to like make your scalp feel tingly because it's getting the whatever hair follicles doing whatever they're doing. Next, oh, it's really freaking tingly. The other thing that the shampoo person said, <laughs> the shampoo, is well, I do the curl cream. I do my like air dry cream. This is the JVN air dry cream. I put this on. I've only got like half my fit because this finger's got a plaster on it. Did I tell you that I cut it? And it just won't heal. Like every time I take the plaster off, it just recuts it all over again. <sighs> okay, so do that. And then what they said, which I think is weird, but apparently this is what you're supposed to do. <gasps> that 
that is so tingly it's like fizzing in my hair i don't know in a good way or bad but it's like ice cold then you put your hair oil on which i just always used to wait until my hair was dry to put my hair oil on but i always but apparently you're supposed to put it on when it's dry when it's wet which is interesting oh <gasps> If I'm not supposed to scrunch my hair to get the water out, am I supposed to scrunch my hair to... Am I allowed to scrunch my hair to get it to go curly? Because that's what all the curly routines say. Maybe I'm supposed to do it a bit more gently. There we go. I need to get to work now. I've spent like 10 million hours washing my hair. And it's time for work. Tell me why I'm so tired. The sun is giving me life, but not enough life that I can get off of the sofa and cook the dinner which I need to make. And there's one of two reasons for this. Reason number one is I don't want, want, I don't want what's in the fridge. Do I just want some delicious sushi right now? Oh yeah, get in my belly. Do I want mince and rice or chicken and rice or something else and rice? No. My hair has been so soft today. Like, I don't think it dried very well because when I was waiting for, I was waiting for the sky train to get to work, the wind was blowing my hair. I mean, then my hair went a bit wild at work, but like, it's gloriously like soft. I'm really excited to use the shampoo version because you know how I just use the detangler. I'm really excited to use the shampoo and conditioner once I finish the other one. We are mother effing doing it. Okay, let's just pick the, I pick it. We have turkey lab inspired bowls, which is some kind of sweet chili turkey thing or Moroccan spiced chicken with couscous. But I can't have couscous because it is glutinous. The thing is I don't really like dealing with raw chicken, so we might leave that. Although I did have mince for lunch today. Is that a bit weird to have it again? This has got pickles in it. Do you know I really like pickles? Turkey. Turkey. This is my least favourite activity peeling a carrot. It's just slimy and wet and cold. I'm closing this curtain. It's casting a weird shadow. As much as that's sad, it's a necessity. This is the devil. And do you know why? Because this is what caused this to cut because I grated my finger. Will I do it again? Probably. <laughs> sat down in literally all day what's the time seven o'clock and i still have like 10 million more things to do after dinner but i'm gonna watch tv i'm gonna allow myself a tv break i'm happy at seven o'clock and it's still light outside can you freaking believe it it's 19 degrees 19 degrees i look a bit ridiculous with this one because basically it's still kind of windy and when I have wind in my ears they really freaking hurt. Anyway, I'm very excited for the sun and it feels like freaking summer. You know what's really freaking freaky is that it's so sunny, okay? Well, where's the... I can't see it in here. There's snow on the mountains. Can you actually even see? I can't see where they are on the thing. Is that snow? But there's snow in the mountains. How freaky is that? I better not do it that way. 
because I've got so much dirt on my camera and you can just see these little like marks anyway we're going to walk to Stanley Park that's the plan for the day I think later on we're gonna go to a um, like an outdoor rooftop bar but I don't know if it's optimistic because you know how it gets um, it gets colder the later it gets so I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna be a good idea but we're gonna give it a go in true Brit style in true Brit style I'm not wearing shorts though because that would be not quite clever because it isn't that warm I'm wearing my leggings but anyway there are people playing volleyball in like shorts and t-shirts or like Top even less than that <laughs> topless crazy beach volleyball is like a really common thing here which I find very interesting like it's like a really like a popular sport everyone in summer every single year yeah, yeah, yeah. they just like get out there their beach ball yeah and everyone's like good it's like everyone can can skate here and ski and everyone can volleyball Vlogging. Double vlogging. <laughs> we made it to Stanley Park. Woo what I appreciate about being in Stanley Park is that because we're not by the sea, it's not as windy, so I don't have to look so stupid with my hat thing on. There's this thing that happens whenever we drop hands i like when i walk I like use my arms quite a lot so my arm is swinging and like and then you can't really grab my hand because i'm like my hand my arm is like swinging too much and you see you have to like kind of time it right to slap your hand in there and grab it hold of it <laughs> oh my gosh there's like a big bit of dust on my camera oh my god i'm actually out of breath i'm actually out of breath should we do a reenactment how am I going to do a reenactment there? Okay. So this is this is how I'm walking, right? It's not like that. Oh. Okay. Is that how it is? <laughs> Ridiculous! You brought a snack, a and you didn't tell me that you were bringing a snack, so I didn't bring a snack. And do you know what I was thinking? I'm a little bit peckish, and then all of a sudden I turn around, I can hear you unwrap unwrapping the fruit of the, the the nectar of the gods next to me and it didn't get me a snack what was it a bit yeah there's my snack where is my snack i can't eat that it's got wheat in it oh, that's so that's even more devilish you brought something that i can't even eat that is not love i know but that again? what, what i said it's quite sandy yeah but Normally I don't sink that much into the Vancouver beaches. I feel so good to sit down. My old lady back can't take it. I like a nice little like rest on the beach. Like sitting on the beach on a log. Looking at the water and all the dogs splashing in the water actually. I don't know if they're allowed on this beach. Is, is this third beach? They have really original names for the beaches here. It's first beach. So it's the first beach. I assume so. There's a second beach and a third beach. I assume there's a first beach. It's a very unoriginal name for a beach. Guess what the pool is called? The what? The Lido thing. Yeah, the one that's by second beach. Lido, big no. pool, outdoor pool. Second beach pool. <laughs> that is so stupid. <laughs> It looks a lot smaller than it did in the photo. I know. Where's the ever part? Tired in a very long time. Like normally I wake up tired. You know how like you normally wake up tired? 
Okay, that's like a normal thing. Wait, well, maybe it's not a normal thing, but anyway, when the alarm goes off, you're like, ugh. But then by the time I get out of bed and I have my breakfast, or even just got out of bed, I generally perk up and I feel a bit more alive. But is it? That is not happening. And you know actually what really, really, really frustrates what really frustrates me is that at the weekend I really wanted a lie in. Like both days I was trying to lie in and my body woke me up at the crack of freaking dawn. And I wasn't really that tired. I was like, ping, okay. And now I'm tired when I can't sleep. It doesn't make any sense. Granola was out of stock, completely wiped from the shelf when I went to get it for the last two times I've got to get it. Anyway, I picked up this other granola and can I just say it's more delicious than my original granola. So there's a life lesson for you here is that don't just stick to what you always get just because. I mean, it was nice, but sometimes the universe is trying to tell you something. Sometimes the universe is trying to tell you to get new granola and you should listen. My favourite hack for making granola for work is to get frozen fruit, right? So if I put it in in the morning, this frozen mango, by the time I eat it when I get to work, it's defrosted. And then I have to be standing here chopping up fresh mango. I actually can't believe that it's Monday already. Like, genuinely, it was literally just Friday a second ago. And now it's Monday. And I have to do a whole freaking week. Who decided the ratio was five to two? They were wrong because it should have been two to five or at least even. My throat is a bit scratchy today. I don't know if it's because I had the fan on all night or if I'm getting sick. Bye. So I'm going to show you what I've got because I didn't really show you. Granola, mango, then the second layer, apple pie and up. And then I've got a tuna sandwich to take. I'm ever so slightly nervous to take a tuna sandwich to work because it's kind of stinky and like no one might, no one will want to be my, my friend because I'm taking tuna sandwich to work. Sorry. But you know what? I had nothing else in my cupboard. So what are you going to do? I'm trying to do this one handed, but it's very difficult. Get on. The best thing about working from home is that when it hits 4.30, which is when I finish work, I am done for the day. I don't have to travel home. I can just go about my life. The worst thing about working from home, though, is the reason I'm working from home is my throat feels like the devil got some sandpaper and rubbed it all inside my throat because it hurts so bad. So I kind of think that I'm getting sick. The thing is, is that I feel like that bad. I just have this really sore throat. But last night my throat was doing this thing. Last night I had to sleep with the duvet over my mouth because every time the like air from the, the outside world got felt on my mouth, it kept making me have this like stupid tickle cough. Have you ever had this? Like, <coughs> like a tiny little tickle cough and we have to keep going. <coughs> You know, I can't even, I can't even imitate it. Any hoosers, it's the end of the freaking day. We're just going to try and hope that I don't get any more s- Ah! Ow! Why do I use so much cutlery? My hair needs to wash so bad. It's like so greasy. Yeah, it's a bit. Well, I didn't want, that's rude. <laughs> I didn't want to wash it 
until after my physio tomorrow because I don't know I just like a clean after physio oh I wanted to take a video of the duck and then just as I pressed record it hid look it went down there it was like no paparazzi why is it coming back what's it like how can it breathe that long <gasps> there it is it's got something it's got something a fishy Who's a little fishy and a little dishy? Awesome. I'm eating literally the most random dinner ever. I have chicken wings, smiley faces, smiley face potatoes, avocado salad. The recipe for a great meal, but incredibly random. Yeah. The fire alarm went off in the middle of the freaking night. <sighs> I literally had a heart attack. I actually, like, I still feel a bit jumpy. You know like when you get woke up in the middle of the night and you're like... <gasps> I was going to vlog and then I thought, actually, people don't want to hear the... <clears throat> and then I also thought it's probably not like the most sensible thing because what if it was a real fire? Like, I, you know when you just kind of know that it's probably not going to be a real fire? Do you know what I'm actually like very shocked about is that actually not many people went outside of the building and they all just stayed in bed i'm like a it was so effing noisy like i don't know how you could have even considered staying in bed because it was so loud like it was actually a relief to get outside number two that is weird is that how do you know it's not a real fire like you don't know like you can think well i can't see any fire it's probably not but you don't know you don't know and I just don't understand how you could just stay in bed. Like, are you willing to risk your life? Anyway, I went up and then the fire engine came and the fire, fire people came. And then I got back to bed and I was like, I am not going to go back to sleep because, you know, I just find it so difficult sleeping in the first place. I have this leftover pancake, like, that I didn't eat yesterday. So I'm going to put it with my breakfast. It's extremely random, but here we go. And then, what was I saying? Oh, I did eventually get back to sleep, but I just wished I had woken up because I just feel just as rubbish. Oh, actually, what I really need is water. When I woke up in the middle of the night, all I needed was water. <laughs> vlog has been an array of random clips but I'm about to film an audition right because I've got this audition it's actually actually really kind of exciting because it's a union project and like if you know anything about acting I feel like I don't really speak about it in, in a lot I'm an actor and to be part of the union you need to do union projects which doesn't really make any sense you have to do three union projects to be allowed to be accepted on the union union projects don't necessarily want non-union people in there so it's really difficult to get a union job it's kind of like a cycle of doom that actors get in where they can't get into the union and therefore they can't get better agents, they can't get better roles, everything, 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 everything because of this union. Anyway, this is a union job, was basically what I was saying. And it's a film. Film! It's a film. And it's actually like lines like, do you know what? All the auditions I've been having recently have just been for commercials and it's actually, it's actually... I've actually got life. Normally I'm just like, oh, ride a dragon and breathe fire out of your hands and stuff. And that's like what the audition is. But this is actually like a real film audition. So I'm, I'm meeting with my acting coach and he's gonna do, we're gonna do like, we're gonna do the self tape together and he's gonna coach me through it and hopefully it's gonna be amazing. That is the update. My throat is feeling actually a lot better. But yeah, I basically just been working from home this whole week because I've just been, I've been so sick and I don't want to give it to anyone. I am testing. I think you need some light on the other side of my face. That's the problem, Mike. There's a white wall, right? Here. But the window is here. So the best place to face the light is here. So it's very inconvenient. Is... Oh yeah, better. I don't really like how bright that is though. Oh crap, I've got like three minutes and I haven't changed. Hi. Hey, sorry. Oh, my thing was on. That's fine. Hey. I was confused because yeah, it said. In an audition. 
I know. I was confused because it's Google Meet, and I was like, we don't normally do Google Meet. Do you ever wear your hair up? Uh, sometimes. Okay, so then that's something we can flip on the next take as well. Okay. Cool. Okay. I feel like I do now. <laughs> okay. If you want me okay, to. Well, yeah, yeah that, that exact feeling. You should just be blah, 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 doing that stuff with your book, okay. and then you see me. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so we're rolling, and action. Can I help you with something? And cut. Great. <sighs> really start me out today. Really Gen Z. Okay. okay. I don't really like this. The angle? Don't lean, don't lean so far forward then. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, and action. He's like in tomorrow. And cut. Great, great, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Skip that, let's give that. You wanna watch those? I actually really might regret this, but I'm gonna go and get my eyebrows laminated. So let's take a look. This is the before. I literally never do anything to my eyebrows. Like, I barely even pluck them. Like, they just don't grow. Like, well, they're a bit like, there's like a few stray hairs, but generally, not much hair grows on my eyebrows. They just stay how they are. And I don't do anything to them. The last time, I have got my eyebrows laminated once before, okay? But it literally, the next day I woke up and they were all like, all in different directions and I just don't know if it's something that I did or if the person who did it was wasn't very good but we're gonna give it, give it another go because I just think eyebrow, eyebrows are the way to your soul I don't know but every time I do a self tape like my eyebrows you I can just see them and they just look so bad and I just want them to look like polished and clean for all of my auditions so that's the rationale whether it's going to be worth the money, whether my eyebrows are going to fall out, I don't know. Stay tuned. Ah! I feel like they look really freaking good. Actually, this eyebrow looks elite. It looks like the most glorious eyebrow that ever existed. Okay, well, maybe not in that light. But then this eyebrow... Looks like the ugly stepsister, like, what is going on? But that's not like the brow lamination sort, that's just my eyebrow, it's just a bit weird. But like, I feel like that looks pretty darn good. Anyway, that was a successful, successful trip. Okay, basically, she didn't really like me filming. I don't think she minded, but she also, she kept telling me to close my eyes and then I couldn't film anything. So like, I only got like a cup, like one clip or something. And I just, she was said she was nervous to be filmed. So like, I think, I don't think she wanted me to be wanted me to film anyway. She was very good, like the place was really nice. It was very aesthetically pleasing inside. No, that ah, that could be my new eyebrows, our new eyebrows. Okay, I feel like I should end this vlog because it's been going on for like 10 million centuries and I was just editing it and it's 40 minutes long. Well, I think it's gonna be 40 minutes long because it's already like 20 minutes long and I've not even done half the footage. So, um, bye.